here perhaps strangest the most miraculous of all the saints Simon the Stylite he was born in 389 AD in Cilicia a village near the border of Syria his father was a shepherd and he himself spent the first year of his life to keep the herds Simon was most interested in grazing the sheep and cattle with his parents rather than studying but he showed a stream interest in going to the church participating devotely in the worship and in listening to God's words he received appreciation from others even as a child for his discipline in fasting and good work he was 13 years old when one day in the church he was converted by the first sermon he ever heard the priest spoke on the text blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god on asking how best to become pure in heart and so see god simon was told that joining a monastery was good and he at once became a monk he joined a monastery but often withdrew into a desert and passed the whole length without eating it is not hard to believe that in one lenten season he stood erect for 20 days then sat in meditation for another 20 days during which time his only sustenance was water on the easter day the holy communion returned all his strength to him as of this moment he takes the resolution to spend every year as the time of the lent marsimion by his intense lent day and night continuous prayers on his feet standing and in the session he attained cleanliness of the body radiant devotion and hatred of worldly materials he prayed for one year standing on a stone within his compound wall in the great land he stayed without food till the day of the passover bearing hunger and thirst controlling his body in front of god his only goal was to please god bearing any sacrifice After 10 years in monastery he obtained permission from his superiors to leave the monastery and became a hermit he was called he said to give up the monastery so he built himself a round enclosure and shackled his leg to a chain fastened to a pole in the middle of it so that he could not leave the bishop of antioch ordered him to remove the chain and samian immediately compelled by simeon's prayer and god's strength many miracles like healing of the sick casting devils out starting spring where there was no water etc became possible he paid special attention to the welfare of the destitute and poor protect the orphans and widow in rescuing his town dwellers from tacoits lent fasting prayer and charity were the important good deeds of Mar Simeon. Mar Simeon's fame spread all places. Many people came to him from different places to take his advice. Once when passenger ships on its way to Syria were wrecked and the boat was sinking, those in the ship prayed to God in Simeon's name. By his name, they escaped the ship. Another time, a believer brought oil to him in a container to be blessed. As soon as he said, "Let the Lord bless this," the oil boiled and overflowed. These events made his fame spread all over the country. Lit by the grace, set ablaze, desire of the perfection, he is put himself in prayer, falls asleep, and saw a dream. He said he repeatedly heard a voice telling him to dig deeper, dig deeper, dig deeper. Finally the voice says to me it is enough now we can raise the building as high as you like it crowds attracted by his miracles had begun to come in ever increasing numbers to ask for his prayers so he flees to a mountain to escape the trade from the men but the extraordinary contrast increased during the day it was they who first made simeon think of living higher up out of their reach He built a platform 3 meter high to prevent people from grabbing him while he was at prayer. A bit of leather snipped from his garment was a valuable relic during his lifetime. 
so we can imagine his predicament besides the whole point of his immobility was in simon's mind not only stability but also vertically he was choosing heaven denying to himself wandering distraction the horizontal he built himself successive pillars styloi in greek a 6 meter one an 11 meter one and finally stylos 20 meter high so rising year by year reached finally in the height of 40 bend or about 20 meters on which it lived approximately 36 years from there the nickname comes to him from stylite the word which means in greek inhabitant of the column that is why he is called a stylite it means the one who stood on the pillar it is with marcion that destiny monasticism took shape in syrian church by the end of his life simeon was embodying his ideal of purity of heart and the unlettered shepherd's naivety that never left him he had reduced his distance from god in the most concrete manner he could imagine he was like a flame burning atop a candle he had dug deep and ended up high in this extraordinary place having left human society behind he had made himself available to it unceasingly the hours of its day were shared between the prayer the preaching the charity organizations the night occurred almost whole in the discussion with the sky he prayed all night bowing frequently and low this being his only exercise one witness stopped counting after 1242 He slept very briefly towards dawn and he was ready to lead the crowds that thronged around him every day. Pilgrims came to Antioch in Syrian from distant places we hear of Arabs, Persians, Armenians, Spanish, British, French and then walked a short distance into the country to where the saints pillars stood. They would beg for his prayers. listen twice a day to his gentle practical and briefly expressed thought ask him to settle disputes and pray for miracles that frequently occurred most of the time however the saints stood in silent prayer simeon the stylite spent 37 years of his life standing on a pillar he ate as little as possible and did his utmost never to sit or lie down he would tie himself to a pole fixed to the top of his pillar so as to sleep upright or on another occasions he would sleep leaning on the balustrade that also prevented him from blowing off his perch during storms he had no roof and no walls apart from the open balustrade a leather garment long hair and a beard where all he had protection against the elements Simeon sat or stood stoically atop his pillar which over the years beckoned thousands of Christian pilgrims who came to view this amazing spectacle and to hear the wisdom of the solitary anchorite whose weather beaten visage inspired countless numbers to reaffirm their faith in God and his only begotten son added to the wonder of his durability under the most demanding circumstances was his power of miraculous healing through the power of the Lord The ruins of Saint Simeon's pillar are still evident in Syria and are considered a shrine to the greatest ascetic of them all who died in AD 459 after establishing a precedent which many followed later but none were able to equal Mar Simeon who valued God's love more than his life when near the time of his death called dearest disciple by his side and order you know that i have not worn anything other than this leather dress on my body to not dress my body with anything other than this leather dress blessing his disciple he left for god's presence malangara church commemorates his memory on 27th july marcinion is the church father who is remembered in the fifth tubdan in the holy kurbana 
Saint Simeon the Stylee was attentive in matters of worship and interest in hearing the word of God. From his childhood, he got vision and strength of prayer was revealed in him from childhood. The children should be motivated to develop this character.